Hey guys, Saki here from Saki Tech, and in today's video, we're going to be taking a look at the Samsung Galaxy S9 Plus running Android Pie, and it's also running Samsung's new One UI interface. So let's dive right in and take a look at the whole interface and see what has changed. So first and foremost, let's just pull down the notifications panel, and immediately you're going to see a difference. When you pull it down one more time, you'll notice that all the notifications, instead of being on the top, have been pulled down towards the user so you're more easily, uh, so you can more easily use this phone uh, with one hand. And then of course you can go to the settings, that's the settings interface, and again on the top you've got a big bar telling you that this is in fact the settings. And at the bottom you've got all these options, again they're all available uh, to be accessed with just one hand if you're using your phone with one hand. Now if I go into the display, uh, you'll see that the display is going to be on the top, but again I can pull this down and bring the entire thing to my uh, grasp, my one, my one finger grasp, just uh, by pulling this thing down. So it is definitely optimized for one-handed use. Now it's not gonna be perfect, but it certainly starts to help. Because normally when you tap on one of these options, uh, if you're holding the phone like this, you have to uh, reach all the way up to the top, but now you can just pull this down and you're good to go. So that's one of the features of the Samsung One UI. And also if you look over here, you'll see that the uh, recent button has changed. Now it is three vertical bars. Uh, if you tap it, you get access to your um, recent apps. And of course, if you want to do multitasking or if you want to do pop-up window, what you want to do is you want to tap on the settings button on the top here, and that's going to expand it and give you all these other options, uh, such as app info, open in split screen view, open in pop-up, and lock this app. So if I go like this, it's going to ask me to pick something else over here, so I can just pick this guy. Now I have split screen multitasking. I can tap this again and just tap on X, that goes away. And of course, if I scroll over just one more time, uh, whatever uh, app is over here is gonna have its icon on the top. You can tap that icon, okay? So it's not gonna look uh, like the settings icon. You're just uh, gonna tap on the actual icon of that app to get those options. And of course, if we do a pop-up view, uh, that's just going to open a pop-up window, okay, which is also standard on the Samsung Galaxy S9 Plus currently, but this is just a new way to access the whole thing. And of course, uh, one more re really popular thing here is if you go to the settings, uh, if you do go to the display, uh, if you tap on the night mode, it's going to allow you to enable the night mode, which is a black and white mode. So everything across the board is going to turn into black and white. So even the not notifications panel, if you pull it down, so it's just easy on the eyes, uh, at night time. So let me just go back to the uh, regular mode over here, even, this, even though this is fantastic. Also, just want to let you know, if you go to the messages, it's going to be all blacked out. If you go to the phone, again, it's going to be all blacked out. So it's a very convenient option to have uh, at night time if you want to go easy on the eyes. Now, one more thing you have over here, if you scroll down, is the navigation bar. If you tap on this guy, uh, you have a bunch of options. So right now, we have the navigation buttons enabled. We can uh, change the order of the button. So back is here, recents is here now. I can do it this way, I like it this way. Uh, but then you have the full screen gestures. So without the full, full screen gestures, this is the home button. This is obviously the back button. And this is the recents button. Now if you enable the full uh, screen gestures, just like that, you're still gonna have the back over here, home over here, and the recents over here. But the way you access them is you just push to the top from the bottom. You just slide right up. Okay, so that's back. Again, if I go back in here, where's that navigation bar? I go back, okay? Uh, if I want to go home, I just go like this. That takes me home. And if I want to access recent apps, I just uh, swipe from the bottom right to top. Okay, so that gives me the same exact thing. So let me go back in here. I prefer to have the buttons for now. Uh, this is still a beta, so it's not going to be uh, perfect. Uh, so I do prefer this option here. Uh, but you do, you do have that option uh, just just so you guys know. And everything here is pretty much the same. Uh, some things that are missing are the ability to customize the color of the actual bar at the bottom, but I'm sure that's gonna find its way back into the phone once the beta has been tested and we get a full release. You also have this option here, unlock with the home button, same on the S9 Plus with the current version. Uh, if you were to lock your phone, and if you were to press this button hard, it would just go straight into your home screen. Which brings me to the lock screen. So if I go to the lock screen now, you'll notice that there's nothing going on here. Okay, so I just turn off the phone. But if I tap it, I get access to the always on display. 
So the always on display is not always on anymore. You have the option to uh, enable the option where you tap it to turn it on. So let me show you that really quick. If you go to the settings, if you go to the display, and if you go into the always on display, which should be somewhere here, actually it's gonna be in the lock screen. So let's go back, let's go to the lock screen, go to always on display. Now you have the option uh, to, dis to enable the display mode, which allows you to tap the show, show always, or, or show as scheduled. So show always, it's always gonna be there, it's gonna drain your battery, but if you just do a tap to show, it's only gonna show it to you if you tap on it, uh, which is much more practical. It gives you a quick glance and just turns off and does not eat battery. And also, if I go back over here um, and over here, what I can do is I can tap on clock style. That gives you the option to pick between always on display or the lock screen. So if I turn off the phone real quick and just turn it on, that's the lock screen, okay? And then you have access to the calculator, as you can see, and the camera, okay? And then let me just go back in here real quick, tap on this, settings. So if you tap on the clock style, you can choose between always on display's clock style or the lock uh, screen's clock style. So if I tap on this guy, uh, I have all these options over here. As you can see, I can change the color of the clock to any cl color I want or choose a preset, which is also great. So let's just keep it over here. We have all these options, same as the S9 Plus you have right now. Uh, but I mean, they just look a little bit better because it's a new UI. So let's just click done here. And those are the clock styles for the always on display and the lock screen. Absolutely fantastic. Now, one thing I'm gonna show you over here is at the top here, we have a search button uh, in the actual panel. So from here, we can search the entire phone. This is the same option you get when you go to the app drawer, you tap on this guy and you can search for whatever. Uh, with the Samsung One UI, you are not losing many of the customization options that we happen to love on our Samsung phones. So if you press and hold, and go to the home screen settings, you still have all these nice options uh, to modify for your home screen settings. And of course, again, if you go over here, you can tap on this icon, you can change the button order, all right? So you can change the button uh, grid uh, if you want, just like that. Tap it again, you can go to the status bar uh, options, uh, only show three recent notifications, show all the notifications, uh, hide the battery meter and all that stuff is now here uh, under this settings icon over here, okay? But then you do have this new search button over here, which is fantastic. And the brightness slider is all the way at the bottom, which is also great, very easy to manage the brightness of your phone uh, anytime you please. Of course, you can actually go like this, boom, and when you pull it down, it's still gonna be right here, all right? Now, other things you can do, of course, uh, I'm gonna just show you a couple more things that have changed. So the device care is actually device maintenance. So they just changed the name to device care. If you tap on this one, again, you get uh, the option to change your battery settings, your storage settings, manage your memory, optimize your phone, and go to the security. Again, if you tap on the battery, it's the same exact thing. Uh, it just looks a little bit different, but you have all these options here. Now it is under device care. Now just a couple more things, just in case you're wondering uh, if you're a detail-oriented guy like me. Uh, if you go to the settings, you still have the advanced features. Uh, most of them are here right now, uh, such as the video enhancer, dual messenger, uh, even the one-handed mode is supposed to be here. So if you go back here, uh, under advanced features, it says games and one-handed mode, but when you tap on it, it's not there. So that's not a big deal. It's going to come right back. Uh, the reason it's not here right now is because, in fact, this is a beta. So a lot of the options that you're used to might have gone temporarily, uh, but don't panic, okay? Uh, it's all going to be in here. That's the wallpapers and theme, just a new interface. Uh, again, it's not accessible because it's, it's under beta, but you can see that there's a new interface to this entire thing uh, happening over here. You got the themes, icons, always on display themes that you can download. All right, so this is the beta version of Samsung One UI running Android Pie. Again, m one of the biggest differences is all the rounded edges, uh, if you do, pull things down, they come towards you, so you can use it with one hand. And of course, there's minor tweaks in here and there. You have some Android Pie features, as you can see. You got the setting stuff and all that good stuff. It's absolutely fantastic. Uh, even for a beta, it's running great. Now, if you're in the US and you're trying to get this, all you have to do is download the Samsung Plus application and just sign up for the Android uh, beta, the Samsung One UI beta.
Now, if you do have any questions, comments, or concerns, drop them down below, and I'll try to answer them or somebody else can get them for you. Uh, subscribe to Saki Tech uh, to see more update videos on the One UI. I'm going to make an, a video exclusively for the Samsung Galaxy S9, the smaller version, in a little bit. So if you do have a Samsung S9 and you want to see how it looks on that phone, you can watch that video. It's going to be identical, but I just like to give people all the various different options. So this is the S9 Plus with Android One UI. I mean Samsung One UI. Guys, have a fantastic day.